Hello Builders, welcome. Today I'm going to continue my EventBridge series and talk about um, EventBridge Archive and Replay. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. So the Archive and Replay feature in EventBridge can be used to archive events and replay them later for analysis, testing or debugging. Before this feature was implemented in EventBridge, you had to do some manual logging of the events and come up with some ways to put the events back to the bus or to some other destination. With this uh, archive and replay feature, you no longer have to do that because you have the functionality out of the box. So why is it uh, useful? Well, you can use it uh, for testing your code fixes after you deploy a fix. You can replay the past events and test the behavior of the application. You could also use uh, it for testing new um, features or for development and test environments where you would have real events from past user interactions. So that is uh, EventBridge Archive and Replay. Now let's see how it works. So here I am in the EventBridge uh, console. Uh, I already have an event bus, which I want to set up the archive for, so this orders bus. So uh, how you set up the archives, you go here to archives, it's pretty easy. You just click on create archive and let's say uh, orders archive is the name I want to use. Uh, the source will have to be my desired bus and this will be the orders bus. And how long the events uh, should be retained, I will leave it on indefinite. Then you could filter events, so only uh, activate the archive for certain um, types of events. You can set, use the um, regular uh, event filtering editor. I'm going to do no event filtering for now. Let's click on create archive. So I have my archive ready. Now, uh, before um, we can replay them, let's go to the rules. And let's select our orders bus and you will see that it has already a rule. This one was just created when I set up my uh, archive. So this is a manage rule. So if you click on it, you will see that you cannot edit it or disable it. And it has an event pattern. So it will um, filter on events that have uh, the replay name uh, or the exists uh, property is far, so it doesn't exist, this replay name uh, um, property. And that is because we only want to send to the archive the, the events that uh, doesn't uh, have this replay name. So we want only to send um, uh, new events, not past events. So let's go back and create another rule here. Uh, what I want to do, I want to create a regular rule and I want to call this, let's say, orders to um, uh, CloudWatch. So this would be a regular rule, um, which will send all the events that I'm sending to uh, CloudWatch. So let's click on next here. Um, let's use other as the um, event source. And I'm going to uh, put in here uh, source should be uh, this one com majestic orders. So this is my rule which will send uh, everything to CloudWatch log, uh, CloudWatch log groups. And let's say my orders. Okay, click on next, uh, next, and uh, create the rule. So now when I'm sending the, the events, all of them will be sent to these uh, orders to CloudWatch. And then what I want to do is replay them later. So let's go to event buses and let's send some events. So here I'm going to use the orders bus uh, uh, and I'm going to set the source to com majestic uh, dot uh, orders. The detail type should be order and I'm going to use here let's say um, product chair just an example let's uh, duplicate this and uh, sec create a second event as well but this time product will be sofa and uh, let's send these events 
so now they has should have been sent to this uh, CloudWatch um, uh, log group, which um, is in the rule. So let's see that. Uh, let's open this CloudWatch log group. Just a moment. So here you see I already have two log streams. Uh, one is the sofa and the other one should be the chair. And we have it here. Okay, now I, uh, these are the events that were sent to uh, sent to my uh, event uh, to my CloudWatch uh, log group. Now what I want to do, I want to replay these. Let's say I want to test something was not right with those events, and I want to test uh, again. So what I want to do here is to run a replay, uh, and I want to send these past events to an SQS queue. I already created the queue, it's here, it's called order history. So I'm going to go back and create, a, um, um, first I have to create a, a rule for that. So uh, this will be my replay rule. So let's create a rule and this will be order history to SQS. Um, the order bus uh, will be our bus and uh, here I want to set up a, a pattern. And my pattern will be this one, uh, sorry, not this, but um, actually this. So I only want to send the event to the, uh, this SQS queue if it has the, the replay name is, uh, it exists, so it's true. And the source is com.majestic.order. So let's click on next. Uh, I want to select here um, SQS queue. And then uh, order history, the, this queue here. Click on next, uh, next, and uh, create rule. So now um, this should uh, be my rule where I want to replay the, uh, to do the replay. So let's go to replace and start a new replay. Let's call this re replay one. I have to select the source. This will be the orders archive bus. And where I want to replay the, uh, the events, I want to replay it to um, the order history to SQS. And I have to select the time frame. Let's do everything from midnight to uh, the next day at midnight. And then just start replay. Uh, the replay until it starts, it uh, takes a while. It's not uh, immediate. It can take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when um, this uh, finished. So now it says uh, it uh, completed the replay. So let's go to our SQS queue and refresh here. And you see I have two messages available. Let's go to our order history uh, um, queue and click here send and receive messages and then poll for messages. And I should get two messages. Uh, the one uh, one is product chair and the other one is product sofa. So I've replayed the events uh, to this SQS queue uh, using this uh, uh, special uh, rule that I have set up. So just a moment, let's see also here. Um, you see also it contains the replay name. So this is a, a new um, property that's added by the replay. So you can filter on this as you can, uh, could see. I already did the replay um, rule. I, I mean, I sent the events uh, from the replay rule uh, only if they had this replay name, uh, uh, this uh, existed there. So it is, this is how um, EventBridge uh, archive and replay works. Hopefully you liked uh, this video. If you did, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you soon uh, with another video.